everyone, welcome back. So today, as you can see, we are planting up color blaze. And these are actually the ridiculous color blaze ridiculous. I've actually wanted these. I would say for the last two years, they're super red. Mine have a bit of green going on to the leaves right now, but I love how red they are. I had a similar one. I would say two or three years ago it wasn't um the ridiculous but i really loved it so i think this would make a perfect um summer container and it's going to last me from summer all the way into fall because in the fall i normally do like reds and oranges and yellow so i'm going to put this in a container and that's because i tend to move my pots around quite a bit because as you know I, I do change my porch decor out and this red is going to lead into our memorial day slash 4th of july which is the red white and blue that we normally do here in the u.s so this will be good and i'm just going to plant just this i was thinking of under planting it with like some um some annual that's super tunias but i've decided against it the reason why is because most likely i'll be digging it digging a hole and putting the container in the hole because as we go further on into the year it's going to get a lot more windy hurricanes and so forth so i want to make sure that they're anchored in the ground if we get like really strong winds like i would say hurricane one i'll bring my containers in the garage or secure them but like tropical storm or anything light, light like that they'll be fine so what i'm going to do i am going to add some potting soil in here and these do get super big so this will be a big enough pot for it i remember one year i had it the container was a bit smaller than this it kept getting toppled over so just in case i don't put it in the ground I don't want to have to worry about it being toppled over. And I think I add too much soil. We'll just pour some in the other container. <laughs> I may not need the other bag after all. We'll see. So I want to make sure it's deep enough to accommodate this before I add more soil in it. So that should be enough and of course I'm going to add my biotone in here so the biotone is pretty much a starter plant food that you just add it to the root whenever you're planting um, your flowers it promotes bigger blooms and roots for planting flowers trees shrubs and veggies so I want bigger blooms and growth so I'm going to add it in here I'm just going to mix it in And these have been on my side garden, being neglected. Oh, it's actually quite hydrated, so it's not as um, dry as I thought it was going to be. So let's put this in here. And I'm going to backfill it with some additional potting soil. And maybe it can come up a little higher, actually. Yeah, that height is good. Right now it's looking a little bit scraggly, but it's going to bounce back to life now that it it's out of its nursing nursery container and it's going to get watered a lot more. And some plant facts for you. It's actually a perennial in zones 10A through 11B. Um, it says fertilize regular for best results. I'll fertilize it with my annuals. Um, the conditions it can take is light. For, for light is um, sun to shade. Deadheading not necessary. And the height is 24 to 40 inches tall. So it gets pretty, it gets pretty big and it's pretty much grown for its foliage and it's an upright annual but like i said those in warmer areas you can get this to come back if you're in zones 10a and 11b 
All right, so we put that one over here. So that one's finished. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. I already add some compost. I mean, potting soil in here with some biotone. I'm gonna dump it out. This one's a little bit more dry than the other one. The other one was a lot more hydrated. So yeah, this one's got a little bit more, need more watering. I should have watered it in the container first. Oh well, <laughs> I'll just get it a lot more water. And we're just going to fill it up with some potting soil. These potting soil were outside and they got wet, so they are heavy. It's ridiculous how heavy these bags are. <laughs> Every time I come out here to look at flowers, I see some kind of garden project that needs to get done. And I have a lot of garden project I still need to get done. A lot. My side garden's not done yet. My, I have gladiolus bulbs I haven't planted yet. I'm way past the date for that. My um, dahlias, still in the, in the garage. Need to get those planted. I think I'm going to put those in containers as well. So I do need to go. And another thing, I'm, I've been trying to avoid going to the garden center because I know I need some more plants. I, I'm doing my summer decor, like I said, and I need red, yellow, red, yellow, red, white, and blue. But I was trying to get all these plants that I currently have at home planted up because then they're going to sit there and die if I don't get them planted up. So, I've made, I made a lot of progress. A lot of things are in the ground. So that's good. I think the only thing I have left is my, um, I have a few annuals. I've started a side garden already. So I'm gonna show you guys that, probably in one or two videos. I've started it, not completed it. <laughs> so we're working on that. And I don't do too much. I, I, I like do my garden chores like a quick 30 minutes here there this way it doesn't get overwhelming gardening is not supposed to be stressful <laughs> like i'm just here relaxing and oh i can pot these up but some days i do get an extra push i'm like oh i need to get this done i need to get that done i need to get that planted and i go 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 those are the days when i get up super early <laughs> and i'm out here before the sun or I'm out here late at night. Yeah. <laughs> so I think enough soil is in that. They're looking a little bit scraggly now <laughs> but I give it a month they're gonna be so full and bushy so yeah exciting finally it's in there goes some a few dahlias there <laughs> I need to finish those I started right here already that will be my next video and I transplanted that I'll be my next video um, actually I did that already you saw that video when I was transplanting the um the salvia so look at the big one and they got a small one. This is actually the same plant that was just left over from that one. So I just moved it over here. But yeah, I'm excited. So there go one, two. Let me get them watered in. And these were the two and a half quart containers. I got a Mahagan Ace for $6.99. Look how big they are. <laughs> okay, so I got it watered in. And all the water is draining out. <laughs> So I let it drain out like twice and then I kept it watered. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <music>